good morning or afternoon or you know the drill I wanted to do a quick response to uh, uh, the vlog about fear and riding and in some ways I agree but one of the things he said is you need to have a amount of fear to ride safe and I think if you're just riding like this just enjoying the weather and not pushing your limits I don't think fear is involved at this moment I don't have any feeling of fear I think riding safe most of the time is just pure common sense that's it do what you have learned and do what you um, have been doing the last past years on your bike you learn by experience and at some point just common sense is enough to keep riding safely but when you are seeking your limits pushing your limits riding fast riding hard riding low cutting corners lane splitting a little bit fast stuff like that then in some way fear will be evolved um, to a certain height depending on what you're doing if you're riding on unknown territory you're riding real fast you're trying to do knee downs in every single corner then there will be quite um, quite a big amount of fear and adrenaline um, rushing through your body but like I said riding like this even speeding a little bit there's no fear involved as far as I can control it I ride safely I ride on common sense of course every car can hit you and every bike uh, bicycle that crosses the roads can cause an accident and we don't need to think about that constantly um, one of the other things he talked about was uh, fear of dying and this is a point I have spoken with many friends of mine about this even with my um, inst driving instructor of the car what is your biggest fear and almost every single one replies with death death is my biggest fear dying losing my connection to this living world that are answers that almost everybody gives for some fucked up reason I appear to be the uh, exception of that rule because uh, I'm not afraid of death why? well most of the time if it happens it happens quick crash dead done you don't feel anything you don't know of anything if there's an afterlife most of the time it's better than where you are now so why should you be afraid of it if you believe in heaven you go to heaven and all is good if you don't believe in heaven and an afterlife then you're dead nothing happens you don't remember you don't feel you don't know you're dead so why you so why are we afraid of that because um, only humans have the knowledge of the fact that they are going to die someday and only humans have this fear of dying someday of course the animals I lost my train of thought but like I said I'm not afraid of death when it when death comes it happens and I'm done I don't feel it I don't know about it it's done my life ends there if there is an afterlife most of the time I've done good so hopefully I go to heaven and if this heaven is anything like it's described in those religious books the Bible the Quran or whatever it's a good place it's a place where you can do what you want and where everything is good and everybody's cheerful 
and in my eyes that means this riding a bike in beautiful weather preferable with some friends but I'm going to visit some friends <laughs> instead of riding but yeah that that is what heaven sounds to me like riding on your motorcycle with friends in good weather enjoying life although you're dead so no I'm not afraid of death what is my biggest um, my biggest fear now I have two biggest fears one is going blind because I love to see if I have to lose some sentences it rather be smell or touch or taste or whatever I even prefer losing hearing above sight and of course that also has to do with riding a bicycle because it is bloody hard to ride a bicycle when you're blind I would say impossible but hey I have seen crazier things so I don't know about that for sure and the second thing is being um, handicapped after a crash like not being able to use your legs or losing your legs or losing an arm mainly reasons because I like doing what I'm doing and for some stuff I just don't know how to do them um, and yet again how to fucking ride a bicycle and I know there is this one rider and I've seen this, this this very emotional and inspiring uh, clip on YouTube who lost like half his leg and um, almost whole, the whole arm on one side and he still rides his bike on circuits and I would love to do that but if I got handicapped to, to customize my bike so I can still like it, ride it or in worst case scenario buy a trike but you need to have the money for that I'm not in the condition that I can afford it so losing limbs or losing the function of limbs means losing the ability to ride most of the time which means that I will lose one of the things I enjoy doing mostly I mean I ride at least six of the seven days a week and yes most part of it is riding to work and back but if it's weather like this and I'm done on time I take a detour home and the better the weather and the earlier I'm done the bigger the detour because this is life for me well almost completely there are some other things of course that I find important in life And, uh, I wouldn't live without some of those other things but I also won't know if I would be able to live without riding so yeah and with that being said I'm gonna pick up a friend and then we're going to some other friend's place so that's that and bye bye <coughs>